if you're looking to charge north of £200 a month for your coaching services, you better be able to show your clients 10 amazing transformations from people who are once in their shoes. You think that you should be charging £300, £350, £997 up front. My first ever client paid £29.95 a month. If your business has a retention rate of, of three months, you're going to have to have some fucking amazing lead gen. This video is about why you are not worth high ticket as a coach. Yeah. Hello guys, we're Dan and Mike from Business and Banter and we are here today to help you in any way we can with your online fitness business. Um, you may be here because you've been stung by previous high ticket mentors before, no doubt. There's a lot of them out there. Every single one of them actually, um, except us, yeah. Yeah. Um, are that way inclined. So today we're going to chat a bit about why they tell you that you need to charge high ticket and that you're worth it. Um, and the ulterior motive behind that, shock horror, it's not actually for your benefit. Uh, and delve deeper into what you actually should do rather than just rant about it. We're actually going to tell you what you should be doing, what you should be focusing on, and then how to bring your prices up from that point so that you then can charge what you're worth based on results. Both wearing grey today. I've just realised that when I we walked in, I did think I should have picked a different top, but you put it off better than me, to be fair. I feel like this is just a bit of a, of a shitty one, but... It is what it is, you know, it's fine. We usually do um, come in different, don't we? We do try and come um, different. I mean, I, I kind of went with the grey to try and show we've got a bit of a tan. Yeah, and I haven't. Luckily, I've got a tattoo, though. Yeah, so, so perfectly. I mean, you've got a hat on, so there's still a difference. Try and mix it up. Well, no one wants to see what's underneath that. It's just gonna, too shiny, they said. They said, I Bouncing need off. to put a hat on. It's not yeah. even my hat, it's theirs. Yeah. Just had it here lying around. Right. But yeah, so mate, come on then. Why is a business mentor telling me to charge high ticket when I'm really only charging 120, £130 a month? Is it my fault or is it their fault? Yeah, so um, it, it it makes them look better. Um, it, Who doesn't want to hear it, right? Oh yeah, charge more. You, yeah, yeah, it's, it's yeah. a sexy thing to say. Like, and it, again, we're, we're under kind of like no illusion that us saying you're not worth high ticket is probably not what people want to hear. They, they want to feel like, oh, I'm a great coach and, uh, you know, um, I do give my clients a lot and stuff like that. And that's what the mentors will tell you. You give a great service, you get better clients, blah, 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 charge more. Mm. The reason why they want you to charge more is because when you do sell a 997 package for three months up front uh, and you sell five of them, it, it looks like you've made a 5K month. They can then put your social proof up proof up and go oh they've made a 5k month but it's 5k for three months so it's whatever that works out to be 1666 or whatever it is 0.66 yeah probably. something like that <laughs> um maths you do the maths um what was it carry the one was carry it the zero carry there the was five. some there was some maths over day that <laughs> that i was gonna go in on i forgot what it was but um so, so you don't actually um you don't actually see the the, the benefit of it yet they they do um, and all that's going to happen is people are just going to drop off after the three month minimum term. And three months is too short, really, to, to get anybody a real result. So you're not going to deliver a result. And also, if your business has a retention rate of, of three months, you're going to have to have some fucking amazing lead gen. Like, yeah. you are you are really, really, like, if you're, in fact, I had a consultation yesterday with a guy who had um his his package his offer was blah 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 in 90 days i was like you regularly get people drop off at 90 days he was like yeah everybody drops off i was like right so why are you limiting your own retention to 90 days mm. i was like because unless you've got hundreds of thousands of followers where you can fulfill the people that are dropping off why are you stemming nine like stemming people at 90 days he said, oh, that's a good point it is a good point. Yeah, um, it is a good point. Good about that. So the reason why they're telling you is for their benefit, for the mentor's benefit, because it looks better on them, but but it's not better for you. Yeah, look, and I'm under no illusion here that telling you this is not what you want to hear. Like, we both said that before we started. Like, we both said it. Both said it. That means we both said it. People don't want to hear it. Like, you don't want to hear me say to you, no, you're, you're charging too much. Reduce your prices because you think that that is in some way indicative of the service you provide. It's not. It's probably indicative of the experience you've got and the results you've got to back that up. I personally believe that if you're looking to charge north of £200 a month for your coaching services, you better be able to show your clients 10 amazing transformations from people who are once in their shoes. When me and Mike were online fat loss coaches, still are to a, to a degree because we still have clients that are in fat loss. I have, like, no, again, uh, should I say this? You're going to say it. I mean, yeah, but I don't want it to come across disrespectful. I still have more fat loss clients than pretty much the majority of my actual coach clients. Yeah. I still have more fat loss clients and we haven't posted about fat loss in well, about three years. You haven't taken any new clients over three years. 
from Literally. a fat loss point of view. Quite so literally. they so they must be retained for longer than three years as a minimum, right? And and I've got the same thing. I have about I have twelve left now, which again is a lot maybe more than maybe you watch this, who knows? But twelve that again, same thing, not for three years they must have been in, in my business for um you know as a minimum because I haven't advertised for more than that. Point being when we were at the height of our fat loss coaching and we were charging the most we charged and the most amount of people like we were charging two fifty a month. Now, there's an argument to be had where you could say, well, you probably should have charged more because you were quite good and you had good results. Thank you. Not why we do it, but thanks. Um, you're probably right. We got told that by other mentors and previously all this sort of stuff, but we kind of felt content with what we were charging, the service we were giving, the results we were getting. I would much rather you're in a position where you had 40 clients paying you £100, but each one of those clients got you a piece of social proof, loved what you're about, stayed with you longer term, than had 10 clients paying you £300 a month. And you were like, oh no, I'm worth £300 a month, but none of them were staying longer than three months and none of them were getting a result right? Yes, you might feel like the workload's more and you might feel like, oh, I'm worth more than £100 a month. You probably are at that point, but only at that point. Once you've got 40 clients getting results with you, if you've got 10 and you don't have social proof and you don't have anyone to post weekly on your social proof, that's a problem. That is a problem. Before you worry about what you charge, it's, it's just irrelevant, you know, worrying about how much you charge per month if you're not able to produce social proof every single week. We've got so I've got social proof on my phone that I know is in there that I have never posted on Instagram Same. from three years ago. I've got photos of people from three years ago that I've still never posted on Instagram because I didn't get round to it. Imagine that. And I've got social proof from clients now who are coaches. I can literally tell you right now, this second, in my drafts, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six coaches to post on there. Six of my drafts, so you can see it, that I haven't posted yet. Like, that's the position you should be in before you even consider how much you're charging, in my opinion. 100%. Um, same here. So I, I've not posted a photo shoot result in the last two and a half, three years, yet we've still Stop been having people do photo shoots. Yeah. So I've got photo shoot level cover model style results that I've not, not even bothered to post. Yet you've qualified eight weeks ago or, you know, I mean, it doesn't matter how long ago. Let's just let's just take the, 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 the point being, you don't have the same results as that yet you think that you should be charging £300, £350, £997 up front, mm. high ticket, it gets better clients. No, it doesn't. I tell you what gets better clients, clients that are getting results. That's yeah. what, what will get you a better client. I would much rather have somebody that stays with me for three, four, five years at £200 a month than somebody that stays for three months at 330 It It, it doesn't get better clients. What gets better clients is getting better results. Well, there's a huge expectation then as well, right? If you're paying more money up front, you better be able to get results pretty damn quick. And there's a pressure that comes with that. But also one of the points that I, I, I'll be making on my Instagram, it may be out before this or after this, who knows, is that also mentors are so out of touch with yeah. reality. Because I think for some people, £175 a month is high ticket. If, you, if your take-home pay is £17.50 a month, that's 10% of your wage. Like when you break it down as a percentage on what you might pay on rent or, or some bills, like that's a, a large amount of money that you're asking someone to invest. And then a mentor's coming along in their Lamborghini and the Louis Vuitton jacket from an advert looking like a knob, right? Telling you that you should be charging a thousand pound and that you're worth it. Well, to them, a thousand pounds, yeah, it is small change. They spend that, you know, on a day doing whatever they want to do. Right? In a beach club. In a beach club, probably. Yeah. In 90 minutes. In 90 minutes. Great. Yeah. Well, done. well done. Right? But to some people, that could be what they'd save up for their in a whole year to, towards a holiday. And you're going to say to them, yeah, sign up for my coach for three months and I'll change how you feel about your body. And then you don't deliver that. Sorry, but that's poor. That is really, really poor. So it's worth remembering that a lot of them are out of touch with reality. Mm -hmm. They don't understand what most people in the gym can afford, are doing, pay for a PT and all these sorts of things. Their mindset towards it, right? If you're selling someone a three-month package for a £1,000, they're expecting results in three months. If you're selling £150 a month coaching, they're expecting a premium service. £150 is a lot of money a month to a lot of people. You just take the average wage in the UK, I think it's around like 35 grand a year, something like that, median wage. If you took the take-home pay of that, it's about two grand a month, I would imagine. I don't know exactly, but I'd imagine it's around that number. 10% of that is £200 a month. I think you have to provide an exceptional service to justify that. I think that's high, high ticket. Yeah. And you've got these mentors, who, they're clueless. So even at £200 a month or £150 a month, I still believe that you, you're not necessarily you're, you're not worth it, but I think you've got to prove that you're worth it. You've got to have a bank of results that show you are because I get people come to me like, oh, I've got 10 clients. I was told to charge 250 a month and I'm sat Ridiculous. there going, you qualified a year ago. I was charging 250 after eight years of online coaching. Yeah. My first ever client paid 29 95 a month. Right, yeah, 
Probably, they, were, they were overpaying. Probably, yeah, overpaying. Probably undercharged at that point, but it was brand new. New people didn't know what it was. So when I started out there, and I remember when the person that I worked with said to me, like, oh, we're creating a package that's going to be seven nine nine five a month. I went, you know, no one's going to buy it. No, and looking back now, I'm like, oh my God, ridiculous. But have that mindset of going, well, I've got to prove myself first. Have that mindset of going, actually, do you know what? I'd rather have 40 people pay me £100 a month. Who's going to be a better coach? Someone that's worked with 40 clients that stay for a year or someone that has to find 10 new clients every three months and churns them all the time because they never get a result. Well, arguably, you're going to be four times a better coach because you worked with four times as many people. That's the way that I would look at it. I think that time in the trenches, isn't it? That's what, that's what they say. I think it's valuable to, to get in those sorts of results. People say, how can I get better results? Well, how about you charge us and work more people? That'd be a great way of figuring it out. I get this thing where it's like people are looking over the garden fence a little bit and going, oh, this, this coach charges that and this mentorship says this and this and that and the other. My clients only pay me 200 a month. Like, break it down. So only. Two, two, yeah, 200 a month. So 50 quid a week. You give them a, a, a what, a 10-minute check-in? Let's just say a 15-minute check-in just for ease of maths, right? Which is what probably most clients, coaches are not doing because they're not doing Loom videos. They're doing a written feedback. They're doing a WhatsApp or something like that. They're doing a type form check-in. Mate, e mate, even if for the maths, go to 30 minutes. Even if you did 15 minutes to watch a video and 15 minutes to send one back. <sighs> right. So so, so you're talking, so it's 50 quid for, for half an hour then. So it's £100 an hour. £100 be, an you're hour? Get, you're getting paid £100 an hour. Yes, you get the odd text, but we, we've done it, like we've been fat loss coaches and we still are. We know the amount of messages that you get. You might get one every, every week, to, tops, because they're struggling with something or they've got a, a mm. meal out or something like that. And the more that they stay with you or the longer that they stay with you, the less those messages are. So there's not loads of work outside of your check-ins. So let's just say each check-in takes half an hour. And I'm, I bet, I would bet the majority of you, 80, 90% of you sat watching this, they're going, my check-ins don't take me half an hour. Yeah. Okay. Well, there, there's let's, a problem. So let, yeah, so let's just say that we do. That's £100 an hour you're getting paid. Is that right? Yeah, that's why I said it. Because yeah. even that is a lot of lot of money. Like, again, people are balking at this. Like, I, I hear, and I get the same thing, I'm only charging this. Yeah. What do you mean, only? What, 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 what are you doing for, yeah. that, for that amount of money, right? And the reason I said it like that is, is the reason I use that as an example is because 15-minute check-in, like watching a video and sending one back, in 15, 20 minutes, like if you're a good coach, efficient, you can do it. My argument to that is, like, if you're not doing video check-ins, you should be taking 15 minutes to watch one and 15 minutes to send one back. You should be learning to be a better coach. How can I get this point across better? How can I make them feel like I'm motivating them, but also encouraging them the right way, but also delivering maybe a bit more of a harsher message that I need to do in the right tone, right? There's loads of different ways of coaching. that All these coaches that come to us are always like, oh yeah, I just send them a type form. Just, just get them to do a type form and send them a written check-in. Oh, I wonder, what, wonder why you're not getting any results then. Again, it's this whole concept of do less and charge more that is just backwards to me. If you're in a position where you've got loads of clients, you get loads of results, yes, you can start to streamline what you're doing. You can start to maybe be a bit more efficient. You can start to charge more. But people are putting the, the, the cart before the horse. They're not prepared to do that work. And, and I'm sat here going, take half an hour to do a check-in. You're still getting paid £100 an hour hmm. based on that. And, and I would argue that you could be quicker than that and then hmm. you can move to £200 an hour and all that sort of once you become more efficient and you get better at your job. But when did that become a bad wage? When did that become only £100 an hour? Yeah. When did it become that you're only doing that? that? That's the bit that I find it's the entitlement from, from coaches. Oh, so-and-so's doing this. I don't care what so-and-so's doing, right? Look at someone like Ben Bray, right? The results he's getting. He can charge high ticket. The guy can't post results quick enough. Similar to like what we were in when I, we were I in think, I think he still charges as far as I know, less less than £300 a month. And it's still recurring. It's not up front. Yep. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's less than 300 So, like, who's, who, who thinks that they should be charging 250 a month then based on that? Based on the results that he's churning out and other people are churning out. I, it, it just baffles me. I know, like, we, we literally had a chat coming over here. That's why we're talking about this now. Is that we know we're not going to win any awards for sitting here and, and telling you and getting loads of views telling you to charge less. We know we're not. But when you look at the results that we get with our clients from a fat loss point of view, and the results we're getting with our coaches from that point of view, maybe it's worth listening to what we say. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. You decide. You be the judge of it. But just think about it and go, right, who's this benefiting in the long term? Because when I look at people coming to a consultation call with me and they go, I've been in X mentorship for this long. I've done this and I've, they told me to do this. They told me to do that. And I sit here and go, right, well, but you're on this call though with me, aren't you? So if it was that good, you wouldn't be sat here asking mm -hmm. me my advice, would you? So then it comes down to think differently. Okay. So if charging up high, high, high ticket, charging up front for three months and you've got 12 clients and you can't retain anyone past three months, do you think we should probably change something? Probably. Because otherwise you're just going to keep going around in circles. 
circles and circles, which is what we see regularly from people that have mm-hmm. calls with us. So practically, if you're if you're within your first zero to ten clients, you should be charging hundred pounds, like tops. Like I worked for my first five for free. Dan obviously charged thirty quid for for his first few. Hundred pounds tops, like tops. And most people are not going to want to hear that and go, oh, "It's not a lot, is it? It's not a lot of work, though, is it? Either because yeah. ten clients isn't a lot of work, is it? Maximum if it's half an hour of checking, like we've just said, it's half a day. It's it's fi- it's five hours for the week. Five hours. So for the first ten, do that, and then go up to one twenty, one two five, something like that, and do another ten. That's okay. It's fine. And then go to 150 and do another 10. And that's fine. And you will accumulate and you will build up your client base. You will get better results. You'll get longer retention. That's what you should be doing. But there's just this big jump. Like I've seen it so many times with people not closing calls. And I'm like, you're charging 200, 225. I was like, I say this a lot. I'm like, I would rather you sign up the next 10 people at 175 than get three sign-ups at 225. Like, because you're making it more likely that somebody's going to sign up. So if you are needing clients, do the things that make it more likely that they'll sign up. When you are full and you've got 80, 90, 100 clients like we had, then put your prices up. So not everybody needs to say yes anymore. And that mm-hmm. the ones that drop off are at 150 and the ones that are coming in are at 250 when you're full. Not when you've got 12 clients, respectfully. Like, what are you doing? You're being told all of this bullshit to make it feel like, oh, you are worth this, you are that, you are the other, you are that. I don't think that you are yet. No. Yet. It's a fuckload of money. Even if we work work off that and you kind of go, it's a, it's a hundred pounds an hour and you kind of go, let, let's work that out and go, all right, so a 10K month then is a hundred hours for the month. So that's 25 hours a week for a 10K month. That's, that's, that's nearly half a normal job, isn't it? For a 10K month. It's still a ridiculous amount of money. And the reason why you're not earning that ridiculous amount of money nine times out of 10 is because you're charging too much. I know it sounds backwards, but you're charging too yep. much to get there. Charge less. I've got Will. I think Will, Will's at about 100 clients now. His, his average price is about 160 pounds, something like that, 160 quid. So what, 16 grand a month? Happy days. How many results is he getting out of 100 clients? Yeah, quite a lot. So do you think it brings him in more or less clients? The more results he posts, well, more clients. Okay, so do that one. And I've got coaches who feel feel like they need to post to, to charge 225, 250, 300, and they've got a tenth of the clients backwards. It's called proof of concept as well. It's it's this it's proof of concept. You need to prove that what Trademark. you do works. Yeah, TM. Yeah. Proof of concept. If you don't have that, Accelerator. in my opinion, you can't charge the big bucks. And again, I, and I'm gonna and I'm gonna caveat all this with, by the way, is that the same mentors that are selling you this and talking about all this sort of stuff, how many results have they got? Go and have a look because we see stuff regularly and I don't see anyone churning out the sort of results that we're churning out. And I'm, I'm, I don't mind saying that now. What we now have two years into this almost, I don't know none of them. None of them. And again, if you worked it out as an absolute percentage, we're fucking million miles away. But I'm talking absolute numbers here based on how many people we work with and how many people they work with. I'm still beating them in absolute numbers, never mind relative. So ask yourself that question as well before you rush in and do something, right? Proof of concept. Make sure there's proof on their end, but also your end. Make sure you're proving that you're good at what you do before you go charging big bucks. Yeah, I'm saying it. I'm saying it. Done. Right. Yeah. Done. Cheers. Uh, like, oh, we forgot all that, haven't we? We are <laughs> rubbish. Have. We are rubbish. Do you know how I like that you're supposed to do hook, CTA, we give the it. answer? We, we should be giving the CTA at the beginning. So if you're this far, like it, share Subscribe, it. Subscribe, share it. MySpace mate. it. All about um, it. Send it by Carrier Pigeon, whatever. Post it on TikTok for us because we're not on there. Post yeah. it on there. Whatever. LinkedIn. Send it to your CEO friends. If you want to join the members group as well, where we kind of help with all this sort of stuff, but in more depth, the link is below as well. There you go. Do that. Link below. Code below. See you in a bit.